This is the column addition method. Today we're going to add 359 plus 298. To start with the column addition method, we need to set up some columns. You'll notice that we have the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column. And there's one digit in each column. So now we need to add the digit in each column. So 9 plus 8 is 17. We record our 17. 5 plus 9 is 14, so we record our 14. 3 plus 2 is 5, we record our 5. Now, if you notice, we can't have more than one digit in each column, so we need to move on to step number 2, which is to adjust the 1s and the 10s. To get rid of our two digits in the 1s column, we need to move the 1, which is technically in the tens place, over to the tens column. So we'll move our numbers. We'll have 7 in the ones column, and we'll have 15 in the tens column. Right now, we still have a 5 in the hundreds column. To fix the fact that we now have two digits in the tens column, we need to adjust the tens and the hundreds. So we get to keep the 7 the same in the ones column. We get to keep the 5 in the tens column, but we need to carry over the 1 into the hundreds column. So now we actually have our answer, 657. As long as there's one digit in each column, that's when you have your answer. Let's try an easier problem. I've already set up the ones column and the tens column, so now I can add 7 plus 5 is 12 and 6 plus 5 is 11. There's a problem in that I have two digits in the ones column. To fix that, I'm going to move the one that's in the tens place in the ones column. And I'm left with a 2, and my 11 becomes 12. In this case, what I've technically done is also created a hundreds column, and I found my answer. 122. So that's how you do column addition.